Hi there and welcome to the Shoe Rainer Drawing Channel and today I'm going to tell you about all the pencils that I use because people keep asking me what pencils do you use but uh, I want you to keep watching right to the very end because there's an amazing what's in the mail today but let's not talk about it. <laughs> let's do it. When it comes to pencils people say what pencils should I use? Basically any pencils are good. These are, um, these are Academy. You'll find pencils kind of graded, so Academy or School or something like that. They'll tend to be the cheaper ones. Why are they cheaper? Well, maybe the wood isn't quite so expensive and maybe the, the there's not quite so much graphite, they're not quite so round, that kind of thing. They're just kind of making them cheaper for schools and things like that. But they're perfectly good pencils. Uh, this is a 2B. It's nice and soft. And, and people ask me about what, you know, what all the different things mean. So you've got 5H and you have to press really hard to get dark. The reason for that is the way that pencils are made. And basically you get graphite and it's mixed up with clay and then baked hard. And the more clay that is, the harder it is going to be. And the less clay there is, the softer it's going to be. You could use just a straight block of graphite in there, but it, it would just keep breaking and the clay is kind of there to make it strong. Derwent Graphic are the pencils you'll see me using most. And they, these are British and like, they're easy to get here and that's why I use them. You might have very similar things in the country that you live in. I don't know how far Derwent sell. Uh, I happen to have this lovely set now because I've been doing some work for Derwent and they sent me this. And you'll find this is starting at 9H, so that's going to be really, really, really hard. Um, you can hear it, can't you? <laughs> you can hear it kind of scratching the paper. And so you can draw very, very, very light lines with that. You probably can't see them really. Um, and then this will then go up to HB, which is the kind of in the middle. Uh, that's just your normal everyday kind of pencil. If you get a pencil in a gift bag with company logos and things on, they're probably going to be HB and it's the kind of a standard in the middle, quite soft, um, but not, not too soft. What you'll also find interesting is as they go up, you can see the thickness of the pencil lead is it's getting thicker and thicker until we get to 8B here. There is a 9B. This just kind of looks thicker, this. And this is really, really soft. You can, you can see little bits of graphite breaking off on it, in fact, like dust. And the reason I like these ones is because when I draw, I, I tend to use around about 4B, 5B, 6B. And the reason I like them is because if I draw very lightly, hardly pressing like that, then when I come to erase them, it pretty well all disappears. That's why I like Derwent Graphic. It's because I use pen and ink a lot. When I erase the pencil, the pencil goes and it's not ingrained into the paper like some other pencils will do. Okay, this is a pencil I like using for kind of doodling with when I know I'm not going to be erasing. It's it's just really, really smooth. Unashamedly, I, I, I import them from America. <laughs> I'm talking about sharpening. Uh, now, this is a kind of classic Stadler Norris School pencil. Uh, and I have my faithful electric sharpener and I stick it in there and it comes out nice and sharp. You can get these on Amazon, I'll put a link down below. But if you look at the angle on that, that's quite sharp. And, and uh, what I really like is this pencil sharpener, which is a long point sharpener. So you twist it until it's gone all the way around and it looks really strange there. And then you put it into the other one until it stops going around. And you get this lovely long point. Palomino Blackwing is just really creamy and it's just really, really smooth to write with and to draw with and very dark. And it's just very smooth and very responsive and very nice to, to use. And it has this little eraser at the end, which you can replace. You can take that out and replace it. They thought of everything. I like that. And just a final thing I'll tell you about Stadler Mars Lumograph. Now these are German and you'll find this in some pencils. And what they do is there's quite a lot of charcoal in there, quite a lot of carbon, as well as graphite. So when you come to use this, you can see this is, um, you know, quite obviously darker. So that's another thing to look into. But once you start putting carbon in there, then it's, you know, it's very, very hard to erase. So there's lots of different things to think about. Um, and it all depends on the style that you're using. 
Uh, you'll also find uh, other grades called sketching pencils, which are maybe more for doing finished drawings with pencils. Uh, you can use charcoal, there's all sorts of other things, but I'll talk about those another day. What's in the mail? What's in the mail? What's in the mail? I have received a parcel from the United States of America, from East Brunswick, New Jersey, to be more precise. And it's from Freddie Krebs Jr., who I think has to be She Ren Drones. Number one fan. <laughs> uh, inside, <laughs> it says, Dear Shoe, here is your very own all American care package from Freddy. Uh, I know I'm a bad rapper. Hey, I'm 15. <laughs> so, what do we have inside this? <laughs> oh my goodness, look. It's all wrapped up in newspaper. I don't know, it's a lot of, lot of sellotape. So I'm going to use my knife to cut through that. There we go. And of course I should be careful to try and unwrap this because it's going to be American newspapers which will be interesting to read. But this is wild. <laughs> it's a bit like Christmas. We have another little package. And inside here we have, would you look at this, seashells from the New Jersey shore. How fantastic. <laughs> I think I think Freddie's very observant and has noticed in some of my videos in the background you can see I've got sort of seashells collection in my studio. Oh wow, well here we go. <laughs> well this actually relates very closely to a video I put up yesterday about bird I'm watching. Baseball cards. <laughs> 1960 design and uh, plus bubble gum and you know it looks like uh, Freddie's eating the bubble gum. <laughs> um, what, what is so weird is I did this video just yesterday, I'll put a link here. I did a video about how when I was a kid we used to have these cards which are about half the, well, yeah about sort of a third of that size and we used to flick them and play each other to win the cards off each other. And, but we had much smaller ones which used to come in tea packets and uh, but but some kids would get these amazing American baseball cards from somewhere I don't know and so we'd have to if you had a small card you'd have to play it about three or four times to win one of their big cards <laughs> baseball cards how terrific <laughs> I'll read you the sign when I've opened this up here and this is beautifully packaged actually Freddie thank you all the care that's gone into all these little individual wrappers and things. <laughs> Inside, yeah. What Freddie calls an all American baseball made in China. <laughs> I drew one of these on Draw Stuff Real Easy, but I, it's, I might have another go actually on, on the Shoe Rain and Drawing channel. Now I've got one to actually look at. Might make all the difference. Thanks a lot. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Oh my goodness, look, there's a little picture frame and inside is an oak leaf from New Brunswick, New Jersey. And what's interesting is that's a completely different shape to what we would call an oak leaf. So that's fascinating. Aha! Here we have American charcoal pencils as the cat just comes in. American charcoal pencils. General's charcoal. Fabulous, I'll look forward to using this. This is, this is like Christmas and birthday all in one. <laughs> and American money <laughs> made in the USA. A one dollar bill with good old George on the front. Well, you say good old George, of course he stole America from us, you know, but we'll forgive you. A lot of water passed under the bridge. And that's, that's a quarter, five cents, which is that a dime? I'm not sure, I can't remember. And that's one dime, no, that's one dime, there we are. Well, Freddie, what can I say? That's most unexpected, very imaginative, and much appreciated. Like I say, it's like Christmas and birthday all come together on one, in one day. <laughs> I'm sure it'll inspire me to, uh, to do a few new videos. Thank you very much. I love getting stuff in the mail.